my name is P. W. Ringzing. I'm the director of this institute. Uh, so I'm recently say about four months. I've come here as a director from the state government. I'm a retired secretary in the government. In fact, so now I'm here to take uh, charge of this uh, institution. So this institute basically was established in 1957. Uh, the background is something like uh, during that time, once His Holiness 14 Dalai Lama, he had visited Sikkim while going to India to celebrate 2500 birth anniversary of Lord Buddha. So after celebration, so while he was coming back, uh, he was going back to Tibet, his own country, he had to stay in Gyantok for some time because of, there was a landslide in the um, border areas. So I think he had to stay here for about two, three weeks. So during that time, our Chogyal, that time uh, Sikkim was on the street, it was a country. That time our Chogyal, uh, Myong Chogyal, Tashi Namgyal, the 11th Chogyal of Sikkim, and uh, the crown prince of the time, late uh, Palden Thandrup Namgyal, and uh, His Holiness had uh, some understanding, to de and they have decided to set this institution why? Because, you know, there was already a political turmoil in Tibet. There was a disturbance in Tibet, uh, Tibet and it was rest assured that uh, Tibet, uh, China was attacking Tibet. No? So in order to protect the Buddhism, its culture, its tradition, its uh, ar artifacts, whatever it is, it was sure that it's going to be disturbed in Tibet. So in order to protect all those assets with the religion and to propagate more religion later on all over, in India, Sikkim, and internationally. So this institute was established. So during that time, His Holiness, uh, he had a foundation uh, site, that, that, that yellow stone, no? Yellow st uh, stone, it was founded by His Holiness Dalai Lama. And uh, subsequently after, it was sometime in 1957, February, his uh, uh, prime minister of India at that time was Jawaharlal Nehru. He had come here. So he had inaugurated this. Inauguration was done by the Jawaharlal Nehru, or Prime Minister, the first Prime Minister of India. So after that, what happens was, you know, like um, something was then uh, in Sikkim by uh, blessing of our Chogyal, our king. So this institute was started. So since that period onwards, till 1975, the Chogyal or the king, okay, he was the president ruling it was taking care of everything because that time it was a country so after in 1975 when uh, Sikkim became part of India then there was a system in administration so administration system change what happened was so there was no more king no more monarchy in the state so from that time on was governor of the state being the head of state he is now looking after this institute as a president of this Institute, whenever there is a uh, governors are there, and uh, the administration is looked after by director, and head of the this NIT as a president is the governor today. So today we have we had a program. This is a Buddhist uh, uh, what you call this uh, is a program of internationally we are organized combined with the state. Yeah? So purpose of these two was to flourish, to propagate. Buddhism in, all over the world to bring peace, harmony, and uh, um, uh, to all the sentient in Spain. Before I give my in, in introduction, I will speak one sentence, only one sentence, uh, for all the sentient beings of not only this world, but the five pla six planets or the six realms. We call it Dawari II. There are six rams as per the formula invented by His Holiness Crown Prince Siddhartha from Bodhagaya or Magadha in those days. So it says, from according to the Crown Prince Siddhartha's formula, let all the sentient beings be free from all the sufferings and be free from root cause of sufferings. Okay, that is a formula, basic or say, Koho Go or ABCD formula invented by 
by His Holiness or His Royal Highness Crown Prince Siddharth. N now, you want my introduction. My name is Yongda. I born in Denjong. People call it, our original name is Denjong. This name was given by Crown Prince Siddharth as Lotus Born Buddha. People say Lotus Born Buddha is different than Crown Prince Siddhartha. However, my all the masters, holy masters, taught me that Lotus Born Buddha is the incarnation of Crown Prince Siddhartha. <clears throat> Six rams means one you must have heard the hell ram. The lowest ram is the hell ram, Narkalok. Second one is the hungry ghost ram, Hidani. Nyawa, Hida. Then third one is the, our, the animal ram. There's the th three rams which is below the, let's say, equator. Now above the equator towards the North Pole, human ram, semi-human ram, and god and goddesses ram. Now, some people say Devlok. Mm. They say Devlok is a god and goddess ram. It's a Sargavas. It's not. In the Devlok there are different stages. 14 stage, 32 stages, more than that also. But within, below 32 is a, is a not a uh, Sargalok. Above that is a yes, then you will go to pure land. So, in these six realms, the sufferings are different. Even out of these six realms, human realm is the best, where we are today. We are the best. Why we are best realm means, we are born in the best realm means, we can discuss, we can talk, like you and us, directors and we, isn't it? We can share our thought and we can relate, build a friendship, relationship, and we can live peacefully, isn't it? Then there are formulas, many important formulas have been uh, discovered by Crown Prince Siddhartha, and we pick up those formulas, start using, then there will be no sufferings at all. We, there will be no cancer patient, there will be no kidney problem, there will be no operation, no? There is such an important formula is there, which I didn't find in the general subject. Yeah. Even in Indian military, military Academy, I didn't find it there. Only it's available under the, the formula invented by Crown Prince Siddhartha. So this is a very important. So six rams, huh? Out of the human ram, that's the most important ram. Next are five rams which I told you. Now, as a human being, if we know this formula, number one, the first, as a human being, we have to know this formula. Secondly, after knowing this, then we have to help this other sentient beings or the living beings who are in the five realms. Because dog is sitting there. He doesn't know how to uh, apply the crown prince of that formula. But if I, am a, I have developed my uh, wisdom eye, then I can help him to get out of these sufferings. Tigers, leopards, all the ferocious animals are in the deep forest. They don't meet us. However, we know they are have a problem lots of. So we can also solve the problem of them. In the hell realm, we can't see, isn't it? Only when we develop our wisdom, I then you could see, we can see what problems they are facing. That also <coughs> we can solve. So and he, as a human being, it is important, very, very important to learn and to understand the Crown Prince Siddharth's formula. General education, what he does? Either you become an engineer or technician or a IS or an IPS, through that, what do you gain? Just roti kabra makan, finish. Toji tamsum. Nothing more than that. No knowledge. And you do corruption, no? Yes, thank you.